Alright, folks, we are back with some more control. Um, let's see, we were heading through the communications department to get the hotline. I thought I shot all these speakers off the walls. I guess they respawned or something. I don't know. Communications are on the right track. No, go away. I don't need... Is there anything up here? Ah. I don't need your... <clears throat> personal mod health recovery. What does that do? Oh, I already have one of those. Alright, whatever. What's this? Internet usage rules. Internet is not for social media use. No FBC materials of any kind may be scanned or uploaded. FBC email addresses are for work-related correspondence only. Level 5 clearance? Level 5? What the? <laughs> Level 5 clearance required to access internet. A cubicle's black rock shell gets damaged, vacated immediately, and alert Mr. Thomas. If you notice any text in your work that you do not recall writing, vacate your cubicle immediately and alert Mr. Thomas. Do not connect internal comm devices to the network. Printer is for communications department use only. Altered items are forbidden in the cubicles. Notify security of any breaches immediately. It may require internal lockdown. So what, is that what this is? This is like a internet pod? No unauthorized personnel beyond this point. 24-hour surveillance. And the, the black rock and insulated crap like keeps the signals in there or something so that the uh, other stuff doesn't interact with it. Interesting. Oh, cool. I can take out the cameras. I don't know if that does anything the hell? Oh. <laughs> okay. I thought all of that stuff was like some crazy hairdo for that for that guy. Uh, socks, belly, book club. I don't think there's anything, anything new there. Have... Alright. Have you guys noticed that the bathrooms are all identical? And that they all like, literally identical. Like, that door is always open. That door is always closed. Like... Something screwy is going to happen in one of these bathrooms. Um, but, yeah, like, look at that. From a distance, doesn't that look like the dude's hair? Can I, like, shoot it? Oh, I can. Can I get anything from the... Loot anything from the vending machine? No. Oh, sorry, coffee. What is all that? Are these punch cards? Those are punch cards. Huh. Uh, why did that just fall out of the ceiling? Oh, hello. What the hell is that? Yeah, I guess we're not going to the mail room. That's, that's fine. An object of power. Whoa! Reach the object of power. Yeah, shit! Alright. We're gonna go check this first. Emergency shelter. Let's take a look at that, shall we? Okay. This is a little bit more promising. <laughs> Book club, Samson. Alright. Book called Notes for Penny by L. Sampson. So I don't usually read a lot of sci-fi, but as far as space operas go, this was alright. The title, Unless You, could refer to a bunch of things in the book, I guess, but I thought it was a little vague and stupid. The way the characters kept throwing it around, almost like a catchphrase, got real annoying real fast. The best part of the story was the space battles. I sided with the fixers, obviously, because they had the coolest tech and their motives made the most sense to me. Honestly, if I had to choose between some hoity-toity flowers in guns, space hippies, 
or a badass bunch of warriors who go around devouring planets like cheap sushi on a Sunday, I know who I'm picking. That scene where they invade City Planet and convert the entire population using those brain worms? And that space dog fight between those two ace pilots? Sign me the fuck up. I mean, sign me up, too. That sounds pretty awesome. Uh, what kind of ruined the whole thing for me was when my favorite character got killed not even halfway through the story by getting a battery cylinder launched into his face by a gravitational anomaly. His death didn't feel necessary at all. Two out of five. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. <clears throat> oh, no. We're not watching that. Nope. <laughs> we are not watching that again. Hell no. I'm not even going to click on that. That was a freaky-ass video. Uh-uh. Uh, undefined reading. That's fine. Alright. Now this... Crowl God. Jesus. Not a fan of the pneumatic missile... Uh, missiles this thing is launching at me. Um, What's in here? More loot, that's all right. House memory, uh, okay. I'm sure that'll be useful for something at some point. Okay, so we have to, oh God, oh God. Gotta run across, run, run, run. Okay, 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 we're all good. Oh my goodness. Alright. We need clearance. We still don't have any clearance. What's your clearance, Clarence? Roger, Roger. Do we have Vector, Victor? Okay. Um, don't shoot me, don't shoot me, don't shoot me, don't shoot me. Oh god. Jesus. I know it's not exactly a lethal, well, the speed it's throwing them, that's pretty lethal. Getting beamed in the head by one of these things. Oh, Jesus. Excuse me? Uh, mm. Hi, 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 hi. Cleanse. Oh, hey, it's the floppy disk. Floppy disk nuke can be bound to gain launch telekinesis. Teach us to believe, director. It's harder to hear you when I'm here. It's like the channel's been changed. What? The board's in charge here. They're pyramids in the bureau seal. Are they really the ones pulling the strings? I'm not their director. I'm no one's director. Well, I mean... Alright, what is this? Hold E to grab highlighted op. Oh, hello! Alright. Um, that's pretty cool. Wasn't expecting that. Launch. Align cube. Oh, whoops. Wild. Alright. We can use the fucking force now. Um. <laughs> I'm a big fan of that. That's pretty cool. Um. Oh, you dare attack me? <laughs> You don't know who you're messing with, my boy. Um. <laughs> Wait, can I just yeet these people off directly? Oh shit, I'm kinda... Hiss noises burning into our astral plane secret base. You must stop mute them, director. 
All right, this is tight. I am, I am a big fan of that telekinesis thing. I actually took some damage. Let me get some. Whoa! Don't fall off. Let me pick up these health things. Okay, there we go. Uh, yeah, telekinesis. That's pretty sweet. All from a floppy disk. <laughs> Alright. The floppy disk is now bound and delivered. The hiss antagonist is seeking our astral plane. You were gone. Cut off. I got it. Just like you wanted, right? This will help me fight the hiss. <laughs> oh, yes. Now I am the pneumatic tube launcher. Oh, we have some enemies. Oh! <laughs> oh! Oh, shit. <coughs> that is wildly effective. Special delivery. A bomb. Were you expecting one? Did I just... For a minute it looked like I ripped up like part of the concrete floor, but I don't think I did. Okay, so I am basically a god now. And here I was about to say, it'd be cool if I had a bigger gun, but who the hell needs a bigger gun when I can just, you know, uh, take this and say cowabunga. <laughs> oh man. I feel like my... said that the hotline can be reached through the mail room. My uh, enjoyment of this... Shut up. My enjoyment of this game was already pretty... <laughs> pretty high, but it has... Ooh. It has just went up dramatically. Which I didn't think it'd be able to do, but... Well... Consecutive kills boost. What's that? It's a weapon mod. Damage after kills. Can I equip that? Hell yeah, I can. All right. Uh, we got a new case file. Oh, about the floppy disk. All right, floppy disk. OOP5, KE. Containment procedure. Must be contained in a cell with no other loose material. Yeah, I can see why. Uh, description para... Para... Para utility? Yeah, that's... Uh, the object is an 8-inch diskette containing Soviet-era nuclear launch codes. When bound, the object allows para-utilitarians to telekinetically lift material and throw it a short distance. See Dr. Darling presentation 11.15 for more information. Uh, the object is currently bound to redacted for research purposes. Background. Stolen from a Soviet military base located and redacted by agents redacted and redacted with the CIA. The diskette contained launch codes to redacted missiles believed to be reserved for use against redacted. After being returned to America, the diskette began throwing computational hardware at members of the decoding team. An informant in the CIA tipped the bureau off, and it was requisitioned by agents the next day. Okay. Research and records. His demolition expert. I didn't really even get a chance to see them because I just yeeted them with the... whatever the hell I threw in their face. <laughs> The Bureau only allows certain highly trained individuals to handle volatile materials and weaponry. Our demolition experts are instructed in the use of explosives in dimensions with distinct physical laws, making them important assets for engineering work as well as combat situations. Hiss demolition experts are the only observed Hiss variations to wield the specially built rocket-propelled grenade that is designed to identify and track redacted entities once fired, making them a threat whose Determination should be prioritized in combat scenarios. I find it remarkable that the HIST restrict usage of this weapon to the Bureau personnel who train specifically for its use. What does this tell us about its behavior? Can it not pass along new information to corrupted entities? Still too many unknowns. Refer to file redacted for full report. Hmm. Alright, so let's see. What's this HIST Ranger now? <clears throat> uh, field research on HIST entity, HIST Corrupted Ranger. 
Rangers are the Bureau's well-trained and well-armed expeditionary forces. His corrupted counterparts are equally formidable. They were trained to use a variety of weapons in order to face any threat found during the AWE response or threshold exploration, including submachine guns, assault rifles, and automatic shotguns. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Busting out the AA-12s. Um, his Rangers utilize these weapons as well as the advanced tactics taught by the Bureau instructors. Some are additionally outfitted with Bureau-made body armor. Hiss Rangers have no observed paranatural abilities beyond some being protected by a shielding of dense Hiss residents, capable of stopping bullets. Considering the advanced training the Hiss Rangers are capable of applying in their situation, it is feasible to consider the human mind still remains intact to some degree? Or is the Hiss able to tap into this combat training and utilize it? Further training... Uh, bleh, further observation is required. Refer to file redacted for full report. What else is on range? Oh, okay. Um... Uh, anything else interesting around here? Uh, oh, here we go. What's this? Willow AWE outcome. Reinformation campaign summary of Willow AWE. National news sites have begun publishing the story of the polar bear attack on the Alaskan town. You all know I don't like to boast, but claiming that the family was killed by migrating polar bears desperate for food because their ecosystem is being ruined by global warming was a stroke of genius. Ha ha ha. Using current ecological concerns makes the public much less likely to redact it. So another AWE behind us, and the public is none the wiser. Well done, everyone. It was a strong campaign and perfectly executed. This doesn't mean we can stop monitoring redacted and redacted for any off-message opinions, but it's looking like we're in the clear. Tomasi out. <laughs> Where is this whispering shit coming from? that way or we can go oh well it kind of goes the same place I guess okay uh, we oh well somebody had a bad day there wonder how we get clearance because oh what's this hey clearance level one this must open the door all right well uh, oh shit this is a control point too okay I guess we'll take that. Um, all right. Oh, no, I get. Okay. Well, your uh, sacrifice is not in vain. <laughs> oh. Who the? F who are you? You can fly! Alright. Oh, hey, it's Tom's. Tom. Tomasi. Um. What are you doing? Whoa! You can do that too. Alright! Holy shit! Right back at you, buddy. Ow! What the fuck? Oh god, I am almost dead. Holy shit, how do I stop that? Um I wonder if I can catch them with uh with my telekinesis. I'll have to see if I can do that. Um okay. Let's try that again. Me skip? No. <clears throat> Alright. He just fucking dodges whatever we eat at him anyway. Oh, okay, nice. We can just blast it right back at him. At least I think that's what we're doing. Nope, that is not what we are doing. Nope. All right. So I guess we just have to dodge that. Hmm. Okay. 
What's the point of having awesome telekinesis powers? We can't even catch the shit that somebody's throwing at us. Skip. Yep. Tomasi, come on. Hold the fuck still. What was Crouch again? Oh yeah, see. Okay. I suppose this will work. Like, this is kind of a bitch move, though. Oh, he's got friends. Crap, what did I just do? Oh, God. Oh, fuck. Crouch! Okay. Whoa, that guy has a fucking big boy gun. Okay, let's try and get some of these health elements. Oh, shit. Okay. Luckily, we can still absolutely... Oh, fuck. Holy sh shit, that guy just gunned me down. Jesus. Alright. <clears throat> so yeah, watch out for the dudes with the automatic guns. Um, word to the wise. Alright, we'll give this a couple more tries, but I think we are starting to run a little long on time here. Yes, he can fly. But we have the power of gun, so hold still. Ah ha ha, no. How did that hit me? Oh. Man, these guys with the fucking auto guns. Yeah. Luckily the ones with shields aren't really that big of a problem anymore. Because we can just yeet stuff into them. Oh goodness. Alright, we're actually doing pretty good now, I think. Oh, here come some more goons.
Oh, okay, I think we got him. Well, not really got him, but forced him off. Feeling he'll be back. So we got something Less about focused. The hotline should be past the mail room. Yeah, provided that thing hasn't got to it. Um Yeesh. This is a pretty cool room. All the pneumatic tubes and everything going everywhere. Really like that. Um Let's see. We got something. Oh, we got some more weapon mods. What is it? Shatter projectile. We don't have shatter. Um, hiss elevated. Hiss elevated agents display abilities similar to telekinetic competencies observed in Bureau Parautilitarians. Some prefer to charge their targets while those launch objects at them. Telekinetic attacks have been ineffective against the hiss elevated due to their own talent in the area. They do not use any weaponry except their own paranatural capabilities. Some hiss elevated have been levitating while strapped into chairs. This is like the result of an individual being corrupted while undergoing cognitive recording and parapsychology. How are they able to use paranatural abilities? It is possible that these individuals were bound to objects of power prior to corruption. It's also worth considering that the hiss residents can identify and express latent paranatural ability in the individuals it corrupts. Refer to file redacted for full report. Wonderful. Um, yeah, hope we don't have to fight those guys on the regular hotline chamber that way. All right, what's this way? Just, uh, let's just take a look around, see if there's any goodies, and then I think we'll probably, uh, wrap it up. Yeah, here we go. Tea time. <laughs> Hey, Malcolm. Yes, tea time is at 7. I'll see you at the course on Sunday morning. By the way, have you heard about this Tennyson report? Apparently there's a bunch of copies drifting around the office. Trench is looking to get his hands on any information about who wrote it. You wouldn't happen to have heard anything about that, would you? See you Sunday. Okay, so they're going to go play some golf. Wait, hotline chamber is on both sides? Oh, no. Is it? What? I don't know. Okay. Let's check this side. It doesn't look like there's anything. Whoa, what was that? Undefined reading. Okay, clearance level one. <coughs> okay. What does that say? Oh, is that a stapler or an altered item? Yada yada. Hotline chamber that way. Okay. Do a lap up here. Screw your speakers. Do I have the proper clearance? Do we have clearance, Clarence? Hell yeah, we do. Uh, Mailroom, cafeteria, central executive. Oh, we could have just gotten up here from the stairs downstairs. Okay. Never mind then. Um, well, they have like ladders here. Hmm. Okay, anything over here? I doubt we'll ever be able to go into one of those rooms. Uh, more. What, what? What is going on? Something screwy is going on up there. Um, <laughs> okay. Alright, well I'm going to... We'll take a look around over here. No, we came up over here. I don't... Get rid of these stupid speakers. Okay, uh, yeah, I think we're going to wrap it up here. When we come back, we'll go through those doors, as I'm guessing that's where the hotline is, and we'll probably have to fight that guy again because he ran away like a little bitch, so. Oh, boy. All right. <laughs>
Uh, I just love picking shit up in this. Whoa, man, that's cool. I didn't think the blinds would be interactive. Hold on. Oh, dude, that's awesome. The fire. Oh, I love this game. This game is awesome. <laughs> All the shit from the fire extinguisher. That's great. All right. Anyway, as I was saying, we're going to wrap it up here. Thank you all for watching, as always. We'll see you in the next one when we come back with more control.